at Vivid Art School, really excited to jump into this project with you today. We are going to be creating geometric watercolor masterpieces. A um, couple things that we're going to need are watercolor. I'm using watercolor cakes, which are just another form of like the Crayola watercolor sets that you have. They're just larger. So if that's all you have, then that's going to work great. Also, watercolor comes in liquid form, and if you have that, that's going to work really well also. Um, then you're going to need watercolor paper. This paper is specifically designed to hold a lot of liquid so it won't ruin the paper as you start layering um, all of the colors on. Um, if you don't have watercolor paper, just be really aware that you don't want to use a lot of water on your paper or it's going to break through and create those little holes. So for these geometric designs, we're going to use geometric shapes. Um, I am going to show you an example of circle one that I did. And if you notice something about this, I overlapped all of my circles. And this is really important for this project um, because as you overlap them, it's going to create new shapes. And in each new shape, you're going to do a new color. And that's going to add a lot of interest and excitement to your project. So in order to create all of these circles, I really just went around my house and I tried to find some things that... Um, I had a circle. So I had different types of different sizes of tape. Um, I also found some tops to some um, containers that I had that worked really well also. And all I'm going to do is place these um, around in different patterns and in different areas. And I used a Sharpie for this to go around it. If you don't want to, you can use a pencil. Um, it just really is up to you. You can always add Sharpie after you're done. Um, but it just helped me be able to see where the lines were. So when I was using my watercolor, um, I didn't get confused. If you don't want to do circles, then you can always use squares or triangles. Um, you can even create, just using a ruler, you can create different shapes and designs. This is just a little example that I've started. Um, and all I did was take a ruler and a Sharpie and I just created a bunch of lines and I made them overlap. So these lines created new shapes. Um, really the possibilities are endless with this. Um, if you don't wanna do geometric shapes, you can always do organic shapes. Organic shapes are just shapes that are found in nature. So you could just do like squiggly lines. And once you are done um, using your shapes and the watercolor, you can actually go over these again and add even more detail with um, markers. You can do different patterns within each color. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some examples and some step-by-step -step, um, directions on how to create these. So stick with me.